Hello, how are you guys today? We're gonna to do a quick day of eating, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So I'm just gonna show you and talk about what I'm having, why I'm having it, and then we'll move on to the next meal. I'm not gonna sit here and make dumb jokes for 10 minutes every single meal. Uh, so we have our Iberical pork breakfast sausage, which is new, just got it, just in stock. Maybe I'll actually try that here for you guys real quick. We have our maple brown sugar organic oatmeal, and we have an apple. And if you guys are not familiar, uh, I was on the carnivore diet for about eight years. It destroyed my liver. Now I'm following a liver detox diet, which involves a small amount of protein, you know, four to six ounces per meal, sometimes eight ounces, just enough to give the body all the amino acids, saturated fat, cholesterol, all the nutrients we need. Uh, the bulk of the diet is a lot of starch and fiber, especially soluble fiber, which is very important for detoxing the liver. So a lot of high quality organic grains. And then I try to include some higher gut motility foods, some higher volume foods like apples, um, also sugar, really any sort of carbohydrate macronutrient, whether it's starch or sugar or whatever, is excellent for detoxing the liver. And you know, if you're carnivore for eight years and it destroys your liver, then you kind of have to do the opposite for a long period of time to reverse it. You know, you ate a lot of meat for a long period of time. Now you got to reduce the meat and eat a lot of grains and starches. It's really about having a balanced diet. And for now, we have to imbalance it a little bit to fix the problem. So we have our very high quality protein, our starch, everything to detox the liver and a little more sugar. Uh, I have about a teaspoon of masticum with every meal. And if you guys have any questions, I have so many videos in depth on everything I talk about here, whether it's liver detox, why starch and sugar is actually good for you, why carbs are good for you, why the keto diet's bad, talking about masticum in depth. What's different is I'm not supplementing for a few days and I haven't really been having oh, water kefir a little bit and water kefir grains a little bit, but I want to get a hair mineral analysis soon. So I'm just like taking a break from everything for about a week so that my hair test isn't too crazy high in anything. But that's really all we have to show you guys uh, for breakfast. So we have a plain Iberico pork sausage and an Iberico pork breakfast sausage. The plain just has a little salt and the breakfast sausage has some uh, brown sugar and maple syrup. This is phenomenal. This Iberico pork it's such a high quality meat. Even that plain sausage, completely amazing and delicious. Really, really good. Honestly, the breakfast sausage isn't much different. I think you could have put um, a decent amount more maple syrup and sugar in it. Both incredibly delicious, very fatty, very rich. That barrico pork flavor really shines through. These are phenomenal. Really, really tasty, really tasty. So the Iberico pork sausage is available on Frankie's Screen Wheat. Unfortunately, they are like $20 a pound because the meat was super expensive and the butcher charged me a lot to make the sausages, but amazing, 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 really good stuff. So just try one, see if you guys like it, but we'll see you for lunch. All right, guys, just got back from work. Maybe there will be a point in time where I'm not exhausted from doing manual labor in a warehouse, but it is not yet. We have what you guys like to call the uh, peasant meal. And honestly, if you were like in a medieval movie and you had to make someone a peasant meal, I mean, arguably this piece of bread and this barley stew, pretty accurate. I must say it's pretty accurate. However, I do not think they would have been using grass-fed beef tenderloin in their stew, huh? And such a large quantity of meat would be unheard of. But uh, since this is the quick day of eating, I'm just gonna give you guys a little overview of what I'm having and why. I'm taking a little bit of a break from the water kefir, but normally I do have it for lunch as well. Uh, this is just barley and filet mignon, uh, some onion, a little bit of wine, a little bit of collagen broth. Uh, didn't add mushrooms this time, forgot to buy them, but it's still really, really good. We have our protein in here. We have some amino acids from the collagen. The barley is the bulk of the carbohydrates. Good amount of fiber, really just giving me some caloric nutrition. And then the bread is more carbohydrates. A Little bit of variety because the meat content in the stew is a little bit high. If I'm not having the bread, I will put some potatoes in the stew as well and, and just reduce the protein content. But you know, we just want a lot of carbohydrates to detox the liver, give the candida something to kind of eat, and then the 
probiotics keep it in check and then they can kind of usher the toxins out of the body because fungus like candida is protective and we want as much starch, barley, carbohydrates as possible, the bread to soak up all of those toxins coming out of the liver. So keep in mind a very important aspect of the current diet that I follow is the volume, the high amount of starch for the gut motility. That's also why we have some apples here. Same thing, high volume food, water, fiber, starch, um, just different sugar profiles to kind of allow the body to use the different enzymes and digestive processes evenly. Really, it's whole foods, balanced diet. You know, the bread's homemade, everything's organic, everything's the highest quality. So, you know, we have a minimal amount of toxins. We're giving our body the protein, the nutritional needs, the cholesterol, the saturated fat, and a large amount of the carbohydrates to detox the liver. Uh, we will have a teaspoon of masticum at the end of the meal as I do with every meal. I usually have it before I have the apple. And supplement wise, we're taking a little bit of a break this week because I wanna get a hair mineral analysis done. So uh, I'm not gonna take supplements for like a week. I'll cut my hair, get it tested, and then I'll see where I'm at with the minerals. i am mostly been taking B complex and vitamin C and then some minerals. Maybe one day I'll do the selenium, the next day I'll do the manganese boron molybdenum, but um, for now, we're just taking a little bit of a break. Uh, so I'm going to enjoy my lunch, uh, maybe relax a little bit, and then I'll see you guys back for dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for dinner. I did a few hours of work on my computer, then went to the gym. So we have what we've been having for the past few months. Organic udon noodles, roast beef from Frankie Strange Meat chopped up and mixed in. And the sauce is a white bean puree, which is just uh, some white butter beans, organic white onion sauteed in the pan and then a little bit of coconut oil that gets blended up and makes a very nice sauce that adds fiber to this because the udon noodles are a refined wheat flour that do not have a good fiber content so not that great for liver detox or gut motility and i also put a little bit of the collagen broth in the bean puree and in this and if i have to i'll add a little bit of water if it's uh, still a little dry of course we have our apple and masticum as with every meal just a lot of starch, some fiber, as we've said earlier with lunch and with breakfast, trying to detox the liver, just get enough protein, not too much, usually four to six ounces of protein per meal, and overall just keep the toxins to a minimum. So that's really it. Uh, I'm gonna have most of this whole bowl, maybe half an apple or the whole apple, depends on how full I am, teaspoon of mastic gum, wash it down with some glass bottled mineral water, and I will have some more masticum and some activated charcoal about an hour after this meal. Helps me sleep a lot better for sure. Just kind of soak those liver toxins into the charcoal. So I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you go to frank you will see everything from Frankie's Range Meat, Frankie's Range Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, any product you've seen here, whether it's the Iberico pork sauces for breakfast, uh, we had some of the tenderloin stew meat for lunch, and we have some roast beef for dinner. It's all on there. A few things that I usually have that you didn't see in this video today, water key for water key for grains. We have those on Frankie's Syringe Foods. Different like burger blends, tenderloin, ground tenderloin, top round on Frankie's Syringe Meat as well. Just a whole bunch of products, guys. So be sure to check out frankdestefano.com. Look around a little bit, see if you like anything. Outside of that, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell and I'll see you guys soon.